Welcome back everybody. My name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Tower of Time. Where we left off last time, we were on the Machine Works floor, which is a brand new floor. Uh, we did find all the old scrolls and everything like that. We are good to go for our adventure at this point in time. We also have a thousand dollars. We might go upgrade a character, actually. In fact, I think I know exactly who we're going to level up. We're going to level up Whisper to level 10. I don't know if she gets any new skills for that, but now she is level 10 and is by far our most powerful character. As soon as we find an upgrade for our barracks, we'll start upgrading our archer, who's our second best character, but unfortunately we still don't have a blueprint for that yet. Soon, hopefully. We have all we have access to all of our skills now, aside from the upgraded versions of them that we can get as we go along. So, elemental barrage, we can't do oh we can do Number of bolts, up one. Perfect. And magic tower, we can also get the maximum amount of health plus aura range. So it is as good as it gets permanently in the game now. Blizzard, we can upgrade to have more radius and a little bit more damage or just more chunks. We don't have any points available, do we? We do not. We are completely out. So we will not be upgrading Blizzard just yet. Fragments of metal and pieces of substances you don't recognize litter the way before you. After a short distance, you come to the remains of some humanoid-shaped machine. It looks as if its body was crushed by something heavy. Only its head seems relatively undamaged. Well, what do we have here? What intriguing construct. I wonder what it was used for when it was functioning. Laddie, do I dare take it? The secrets I could learn from it. When the hunter is on the trail of two rapids, the quicker one always escapes. We have to work on your communication skills, friend Froy. The large man means to say, it will only slow us down. Ah, of course, laddie, what a shame. Perhaps we could come back later. We'll try, chief, if we have the time. The poor dwarf, all he wants is, like, cool mech stuff, and no one ever wants to let him have his mech stuff. There's two... is it just one? That's just one X. It just kind of looks like two X's on the map because of the weird terrain thing there. That's fine. Moving on. Doesn't look like there's anything up here except for a small breezer. And there's some gold on the ground. At a thousand gold, we can also upgrade our druid one more time. Let me check this door. Rakem inspects the door and the frame carefully. He finds no locks, so he pulls out his axe and swings at the door mightily. And nay, the door wins for now. A plain looking table with a handful of mundane books, two works of fiction, and a report on the construction materials used during the creation of the tower. Nothing of particular interest, so that door is not openable for us. I guess we're going around the other way. This floor is very dark, and it's kind of hard to see gold glittering in it. So if I miss some, I hope you guys will forgive me. I'll hopefully catch you the next time we wander through. The electrical sparks don't help in that they draw my attention away from whatever gold might be on the ground. There's some gold. Hidden behind a wall, kinda. Alright, so we have some auto cutters, some RC-32s, and some mechanical magi. Interesting. Not really sure how this is gonna pan out for us, but I think we'll be just fine. This is a cool battle arena. I really like the layout of this. This is really neat. I'm going to the middle. That's where my group belongs. Dead center, in the middle of all the auto cutters. Which apparently are all the only thing on the map right now. Phew. And a bow in here. And let's get some Ent to help us. You go fight those ones. Okay, this is getting a little bit too intense for the moment. There we go, now they're dead. We should summon our little um, crystal somewhere, probably right here.
not too concerned about this fight at the moment. Although that initial stage where we almost lost our... Shadow was a little bit disconcerting. And still is. Um... That blizzard can be really good if it hits the right things. We're at about halfway through the fight. I think we're gonna start pumping up a life next. Gotta keep that survivability up. Seventy-three percent and seventy-five percent. Let's kill that one that jumped in. Ooh. It's like an ideal place for some killing. And that should be the end of the fight. Cool. A new... sort of okay-ish wand, some gold, and some gems. Come on, Kay, where's your tower at avatar when we need her? I'd rather not up go up against these things again. I'm sure she'll help us as soon as she can. You place tremendous faith in her shield guard. What if she decides to remain hidden? She will return. This I know with a certainty. After all, this tower does not revolve around us. She must answer to her duty before she renders aid to guests. What do you know of her anyway? Did she reveal her true name or her true purpose here? No, she did not. Finally, something me and her majesty agree on. But she has helped us a number of times, Whisper. We consider her a friend, and more than this, just as I am duty-bound to my lord, the tower avatar is duty-bound to the tower itself. The line between fulfilling one's duty and using people to your own ends is sometimes the width of a single hair. For all our sakes, I hope you can tell one from the other, Kay. You see shadows, where only light exists, High Courier. The Tower Avatar is a kindred spirit, and I do not question her loyalty to us. So be it. We shall see. Is that forewarning that we're going to have a boss battle against her at some point in time? Could be. Another gun! Well, if you insist... Dual wielding pistols... And it's considerably better than the gun or the uh, crossbow we were using before. Although we do lose our minus one armor on hit. It's just all around better. This has less armor, but is considerably better in a lot of other ways. Movement speed, health regeneration, hit points, um, resistances, gives true sight, which is better crit. All around, I think that's a way better helmet than the one we were using before. Let's check if there's any other gear for us. We lose life leech, but we'll gain a ton of water resistance and stun on hit. And a bunch more damage. Might be worthwhile, I think. We're not using the gargoyle skin thing, because I don't want to move it like 8 inches per year. Uh, anything else? Yes. Eye of the Shade. We would lose mana steel, or might, but we would gain a ton of DPS, including void DPS. We lose mana regen though, so that's really bad. It's her mana regen now, five, so we'd be at half of our mana regen. We should also lose um, health regeneration, which would actually listen to the negatives for that. Which would be a little bit unfortunate. Do we have anything else that would give us better regenerative, ca regenerative capabilities? It's not looking like it's so far. We'll have to keep that one on hold for now, I think. Kind of like that wand, too, though. Hmm. Alright, we'll deal with that later. 
It's such a hard thing to decide what to take. Geometric shapes. Triangle is 0180. A somewhat simplistic code. But a code for what? Let's keep hold of it. We have a triangle note. I don't know what that does, but I'm sure it will be important later. There's a lever here. Not really knowing what they're doing, your champions turn the lever left and right. After a few tries, they decide to leave it in the position marked on in green. Sounds legit to me. I'm good with that plan. A table with wine. Captain Brumpton. I'm writing to yet again express my strong indignation at the lax attitude of both you and your company. You may believe that we are safe from the Deva here, but we must remain vigilant against their encroachment. The enemy is merciless and just beyond our doorstep, yet you and your soldiers are often seen drunk. Drunk, sir, and well on guard duty at that. We, mages of the tower, should comport ourselves accordingly, whatever the circumstances. I insist for the hundredth time that you enforce discipline in your ranks and in yourself. Sincerely, Captain Roman B. It looks like these men had one last hurrah. There are worse ways to go. The letter mentioned Deva. I have no memory of this word. Our elders tell us of spirits long ago called Deavers. They were said to be impervious to magic. Perhaps this similarity is more than coincidence. This tower is steeped in the improbable and fantastic. With each passing moment, my doubt of the old race's full tales wanes. There's a fountain. Hang on, let's save before drinking the odd concoction. What's it do? It's a bad one. Speed decreased by two. We are not drinking that potion. Plus 5% water resistance. Doesn't really matter too much who we give that to. We'll give it to Kane though. He does take most of the hits, although we should probably start to divvy it out. What's wrong with all these blasted lamps? Previous floors were well lit, but here I can hardly see my hand in front of my face. Let me take a look. Rekha moves to inspect the strange metal co container hanging from the wall. After a few moments, his face turns into a frown. You're right, these are indeed lamps of some kind, but they don't use any fuel I know of. Any wood nor oil? I'm sorry, last I had no idea how to turn them on. That's a cool metal sculpture. It looks like a plant, but of gears. Check this hallway really quickly. We didn't actually go exploring this particular hall, but it looks like there's nothing of note. There is a fight up ahead. I'm not sure what that is, but it's floating above us. Kind of very creepy. The strange stand flickers with light displaying black bold letters. Though time and neglect have damaged parts of the stand, and not all the text is legible, your champions can read the following. Thank you everyone for the well wishes. After a lot of encouragement, I have decided to have the party on level 2 after the end of the shift. I hope everyone can attend. We can't let these dark days keep us from living our lives, but please, no birthday presents. Engineer Ashley. A tattered notebook lies in the middle of the floor. Upon closer inspection, it appears to be a personal diary. As one of your champions leaves through it, most of the pages crumble to dust. Only a few in the middle are legible. Which is why we are forced to abandon the others and retreat to this part of the tower in the first place. My dreams are still haunted by the memories of the people we left behind. Each night, I pray, they somehow prevailed over the Deva. But as long as those cowards refuse to power up the main generator, I'll never know for sure. Having aligned myself to a party captain by two buffoons, I now fully regret my decision to leave the others. Brumpton is a drunken cowboy, and Roman B is as thick as a brick. How they ever rose to such positions of authority over the rest of us is beyond me. Each day the knots in my stomach grow tighter. I wish with all my heart I'd gone to the upper level with Lorraine and the others. You know which that, they're dead. Like, real dead. And chance scroll. Fancy. Okay, so we have two fights we can do. We can either do this battle or that battle. We're closest to this battle, so we might as well give it a shot while we're here. We've saved. Looks like auto cutters, RC-32s, mechanical mages, destructoids, air lancers, and elite mages, which are have a lot of hit points, actually. Uh, no teleporters or anything that I can see. Nothing special about this fight. Just... Possibility of death is always a thing. I missed that one, didn't I? Oh no, I got it. Just perfect. Cool. I'm gonna put my group, like, right here. This seems like a good place. We're close to this attack point. The other ones have to walk to get to us. We don't really need to use any abilities yet. Oh, they all looked at that one. 
Okay. So what we're going to do here... We're going to do that and that. That'll stop that side for sure. This is going to be there. And you are going to be here. Along with you. Not too worried about this access point. We're at 20% right now. What are these? Hero skills cooldown are better. No. There is a pretty large group coming from the other side there. We'll just put our bow out there to do some preliminary damage and you make that happen no go back oh wait let's wait out the uh, regen first This is not the ideal positioning that I was hoping for. We'll move back to the door. They can only come at us from two-ish sides now, but mostly just one side. Move up a little. Boom, dead. Everyone has pretty good mana at this point. Our archer's full, our... Whisper, I don't know what class she is, really is. Dark mage, I guess, kind of. Elemental mage. Anyway, she's got tons of mana still. So. Okay, we have many enemies coming from this side. And now we don't. They're all mostly taken care of. Seventy six percent complete. I really like the guns, they do a lot of damage. Easily. Ninety-eight percent. What's left? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's all. Damage. Whisper is still ahead by a fairly vast amount in terms of that fight, although closely behind. Well, not that closely behind, but getting there is our archer. You do have to remember, though. Whisper is now three levels ahead of our archer. Which is a considerable amount in this game. A lever, you say. An energy pylon, you say. Would you look at this little contraption? What a beauty. It'd make a fine toy for one of my sons. It takes a vivid imagination indeed to envision this machine as a toy. Regardless, it is clearly in non-working order. Light is a form of energy. Perhaps if we can get all floor blocks illuminated, the machine will activate itself. I like the way you're thinking, mistress. Do you think they're connected to those levers we fixed earlier? We should try to get them all going. We fixed earlier? I must say you dwarves have a strange way of assessing things. How can you fix something if you don't know what it is and how it works? Good point, noble elf, but in matters of machinery, I gladly yield judgment to Rackham. I don't see any harm in getting those machines running. If we're able, and who knows, maybe they'll help us elsewhere in the tower. True that. Let's do this thing. What's this thing do? Guessing that's what we had to do there. Ooh, Master Engineer Boots. What do they do? Movement speed in combat by 20%. Plus 2 speed. Actually, that's pretty nice. We'll take a look at those to replace. Actually, I'm almost guaranteeing that they're better than our current boots. By a considerable amount. 
I just remembered we have garbage boots. I mean, we might just be able to get this thing working. And some gold, and then we have to move this. This one's completely backwards. We don't have the option to turn it. Maybe there's another way to turn it somewhere. An oddly clean book, clasped with a polished silver hinge, lies on a table before your champions. Most of the pages have been torn out, but the introduction is intact. Since the Great Incident, the world has been in turmoil. Without the political and logistical influence of the Tower, society fragmented in a single decade. Rumors circulate among those of us absent from the Tower when it happened, ambassadors and their staffs, field agents, and so forth. But we all know it was Proteus' doing. Who else could channel the power necessary to rend the earth and thrust the entire tower underground? No, the question is not who did it, but why was it done? The senior ranked among us survivors, those who knew of the power struggles at the top of the tower, speak of the Orgonthe threat and the, sch and the schism that it caused on the High Council. Our efforts to locate the tower underground finally bear fruit. Preparations are now underway to reach the top of the subverted structure and find out exactly what happened, and what needs to be, or what can be done at this point. This is a time of great anxiety, as no one is certain what awaits us. Was this Proteus' action? A last-ditch recourse to a tower overrun with constructs? Or worse yet, could the Organte themselves have finally broken through? While nerves are high, we work diligently to maintain the chain of command and some measure of order. Magi and experienced explorers have taken positions of authority within the expedition. We are likely afforded only one single chance to penetrate the tower and unravel the mystery. The following text is intended to serve as an organizational framework outlining the roles and responsibilities of the established command hierarchy, as well as the protocols for enforcing discipline. This is a powerful memory for something imprinted on such a fragile material. It seems an expedition of survivors returned to the tower to right what had gone wrong. As the Great Life Oak sends many routes, they must have resided on this level for a significant amount of time. A command center? Unfortunately, it seems their expedition failed. Their loss may be our gain. Maybe they left some useful items or information behind. Through that. There's gotta be a way to turn this... thing. Maybe I'm just not standing near it properly. No, all the other ones are movable, except for that one. Maybe I have to sweep his earth. There's gotta be a switch or something for it, I guess. Something along those lines. Also, I think we bypassed a fight, kind of. We accidentally, a whole fight. A book on technomancy. Among the shelves, filled with rune tomes of various design, one oversized book in particular draws your champion's gaze. Dusting off the cover, a gold embossed title reads, First Principles of Technomancy. Complicated diagrams and long passages about combat strategy fill the volume. After a quick glance, the champions turn back to the first page and read the introduction. Many on the High Council look askance on the new school of magic technomancy. They do not see its true potential, nor do they realize the power of our technological heritage. Their outlooks are skewed, seeing how only magic led to a dilapidated infrastructure, planes which no longer fly, trains derailed and rusting, and other technological marvels of transportation, all rendered useless since the invention of teleport crystals. History will record the technological knowledge of our forebears is not yet and should never be lost. Technology can be fused with our new knowledge of mana and magic, yielding artifacts which neither magic nor technology alone can yield. A great magist can summon forth and throw gobs of flames at an enemy, but in time, even the greatest magist depletes his mana and tires. In contrast, a simple soldier can fire an enchanted pistol bullets with little effort, as long as his physical supply lasts. Fascinating, about half my wealth the offer of this tome was a dwarf. Nonsense, dwarves are miners, masters of the craft to be sure, but simple miners nonetheless. The twinning of magic and artifice is surely an elven art. Simple, why only an elf? Enough! This constant bickering over nothing must cease at once, it's not helping us get anywhere. Look here, at the author's name on the spine. Aloya Ar Arsamus? This woman was neither elf nor dwarf, she was of my people, a shadow. Thank you for settling that, your highness. That's quite the name. Another mysterious lever. Your champions leave it in the on position. This was the last of the three levels levers required to activate the power pylons next to the inactive construct. 
Alright, we're going to turn on the construct and then we're going to call it here probably. Ooh, plus 20 health. Shadow. And a shield. Might be a good shield, we'll take a look in a minute. But first, we can't open the door because it is locked. Okay. So first we'll go turn on the pylons and we'll call it there. It's just been a very long day and I just... I'm honestly going to go to bed early tonight because I'm just not in it today. Not the game, because I really love the game, just not into casting today. Just tired, sleepy. There we go, now we can turn this pile on though. It has turned on... It has a triangle. Is it a party member? Maintenance unit awaiting instructions. It speaks, we fixed it. That which works and toils with endless design yet dares dream to be free. What? Indeed, our world has lost much since the ancient times. If we once had knowledge to create life itself. Can you understand us, machine? Comprehension 100%. Do you have a name? Yes. Well? Lots of ellipses. Oh great, I see where this is going. Hey machine, what's your name? Designation WD40 C3PO CC1701 ED209. Okay, okay, we got it. What a horrendous name for such a beautiful construction. We shall call you differently. I know, we shall call you Shiny. Er, somehow I don't think that's quite fitting either, Rakyam. Besides, this thing holds little beauty. It is a random merge of metal and crystal. I certainly have seen far fairer things in my time. Glances towards Maeve. <gasps> the romantic subplot. Oh, laddie. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as they say. But if you insist, we'll call it something else. What about Dave, Kit, Johnny Five, Mech? Yes, Mech. Short and lovely. Perfect. Machine, your name is now Mech. Do you understand? Comprehension. 100% I am Mech. And what exactly do you do in the tower, Mech? I serve and obey. Systems maintenance, clearance level 2B. So you fix things. Affirmative. Wait a minute, are you controlled by the tower? Well? It seems to have stopped working. Maybe its power source is malfunctioning. Too bad, I kinda like the idea of having, having a little helper who could fix things in this crazy place. The great spirits know we could use the help. Smirking. What? What did I say? When you questioned this construct, you told it to wait a minute. Yeah, so... Oh, that's right. It follows instructions to the letter. Amazing. A machine made to understand language and to make independent decisions, and not a drop of mana anywhere in its design. Whoever oversaw this level of the tower must have been masters of craftwork beyond all comprehension of the word. More than a minute has passed. Let's see if Whisper is correct. Master Smith, if you'd be so kind to tell the construct to join our ranks. Mech, are you with us? Mech is here. You are here. Affirmative. Mech is with you. All right, then, you beautiful piece of metal. Looks like you're with us. Fall in behind. We're on our way to the bottom of the tower. Holding his hand at the brow of his head. At a brow. As you command. Mech obeys. Does he actually join our group? Group? No, he just follows us. I'm imagining. Right? Yeah, our last character is some... a female of some sort, you can tell by the... Bob. Also known as the I want to speak with your manager haircut. At least that's what it looks like from here anyways. So we're gonna call it here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.